Hi everyone, my name is David and I often do tutorials in Cubase on the internet. Today is one of those days. I'm gonna teach y'all how to make a robot voice, not unlike the one you hear right now. I'm like bleep, blah, bleep, blah, blue. Computers making music with my Indian flute. So let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. A couple weeks ago, I released this song on my YouTube channel. It's called Bleep Blop Bloop. And it's a rap song, and here it is with the beat. I'm like bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian flute. I'm saying bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. And people wanted to know, how did you do the robot voice? And I, I have another section with robot voice later in the song right here. <laughs> And the way that I did this was with an effective use of the effects that are available to you in Cubase, no external effects necessary. So it was a little bit of vocoding and a little bit of flanger on the robot vocals. So I have two separate takes here, uh, the robot vocals and the chorus, and we'll just go to this bleep blah bloop part. I'll solo these out, but I also want to take these and bypass the effects. This is what they sound like dry. I'm like bleep. Blop, bleep, blop, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian. Here's the chorus track. I'm saying bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian flute. I'm like bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. It's robot music with an Indian flute. So you get the idea of what they sound like dry. And the key to this robot voice really is this pitch correct plugin, which is included with Cubase. Uh, it's, I think it's included with all versions of Cubase elements, artists. And the way that I do the vocoding is I switch this scale source to external MIDI note. Um, I, I have a positive shift on this just to make it go higher. And the speed at 100, that's the key. That will immediately snap your vocal to whatever pitch you assign to it in MIDI. And so here on Robot Vox, I have that pitch correct. And on the chorus, I also have the pitch correct. We'll unbypass these and we'll see what we get. I'm like bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian flute. I'm saying bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian flute. Okay, and so how do you do that? Well, you get a MIDI track. So this Robot Vox and Robot MIDI are assigned to each other. And so I just started a MIDI track. And if you notice, the uh, Robot MIDI routes to Robot Vox, insert one, pitch correct MIDI in. And then whatever I write in in MIDI, becomes the pitch correction for that vocal like track. Bleep, blah, bleep, blah. Computers making music with my Indian flute. I'm saying bleep, blah, bleep, blah, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian flute. I'm like bleep, blah, bleep, blah. But obviously there's some additional effects on this and we can go to the audio inserts tab here. So there's compression on this. And here's the big one, it's VST amp rack. There's some pre-effects, the compressor is uh, also on, but the post-effect flanger, I just used the flanger from VST amp rack. Flangers sort of have that robot style. And then of course there's an octaver. So here's what the, just the octaver sounds like with everything else off. I blew, it's robot music with an Indian flute. I'm like bleep. And then here's the octaver and the flanger together. Let's make a music with my Indian flute. I'm saying bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. Computers make a music with my Indian flute. I'm like bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. There's the whole shebang. And the key to this is actually the two tracks because the other track, if you notice, we'll solo that and we'll, it is a drone note here. I use the same pitch correct settings. Let's go to those pitch correct settings. So 100, that's the key. And then there's no, no shift in the, uh, no shift in the format, but it is the 100 speed. And if you can see this, this is this is the MIDI. It's just a drone note in the key of the song, which is G. So if you hear that, it's bleep, blop, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian flute. I'm saying bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. And that creates the droning monotone robot nature, whereas the one with more uh, spicy melodic elements in the MIDI create this bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. And together we get this out of the whole shebang. Bleep, blop, bloop. Computers making music with my Indian flute. I'm saying bleep, blop, bleep, blop, bloop. 
And that's essentially how I created the robot track. And then if you look at this part here where it sort of goes hog wild. Robots are coming, the robots are coming, the robots are here. That is simply the same exact effects on the left hand side. We're just getting a little bit more wild with this MIDI, having it do these octave jumps. And it sounds unnatural, but it's supposed to sound unnatural. And then of course, if we look at the other track, it does a few octave jumps, not as quick, but um, and then the combination of those two together is basically how I made a robot voice. So I hope that that clears things up for you. It's basically an octaver, a flanger, and then using the pitch correct plugin in Cubase, assigning the scale source to external MIDI note, and then routing the external MIDI track to that part of the plugin. And then you can vocode and have your voice do whatever you want from a melodic standpoint. So I hope that you found this useful. If you have, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And check out the links in the description if you want to help out the channel. You can buy your gifts through my Amazon affiliate link. And we will all have a Merry Christmas. So until I see you guys next time, peace.